Welcome to Tourista Experts, the channel where we show you the best and most beautiful places in the world. In this video, we're going to explore 30 of the world's greatest man-made wonders. From ancient monuments to modern marvels, these are the structures that showcase the remarkable achievements of human ingenuity and creativity throughout history. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the journey as we take you to some of the most amazing places on Earth. The first wonder on our list is the Great Wall of China, one of the largest and longest structures ever built by humans. The wall stretches over 21,000 kilometers across China and was constructed over several centuries by different dynasties to protect their borders from invaders. The wall is not only a defensive fortification, but also a symbol of Chinese culture and identity. You can walk along some sections of the wall and admire the stunning views of the mountains and valleys below. Next, we travel to Egypt where we find the Great Pyramid of Giza, the only surviving wonder of the ancient world. The pyramid was built around 4,500 years ago as a tomb for the Pharaoh Khufu, and it is the largest of the three pyramids in the Giza complex. The pyramid is made of over 2 million stone blocks, each weighing an average of 2.5 tons and it stands at 139 meters high. The pyramid is a masterpiece of engineering and mathematics, and it still baffles scientists today how it was built with such precision and accuracy. From Egypt, we move to India, where we visit the Taj Mahal, one of the most beautiful and romantic buildings in the world. The Taj Mahal is a white marble mausoleum that was built in the 17th century by the Mughal Emperor Shah Jahan as a tribute to his beloved wife Mamtaz Mahal, who died in childbirth. The Taj Mahal is a stunning example of Islamic architecture, with its domes, minarets, arches, and intricate carvings. The Taj Mahal is also known for its changing colors throughout the day, reflecting the mood of the emperor's love. Our next destination is Italy, where we marvel at the Colosseum, one of the most iconic landmarks of ancient Rome. The Colosseum is an oval amphitheater that was built in the 1st century AD by Emperor Vespasian as a venue for gladiator fights, animal hunts, executions, and other spectacles. The Colosseum could hold up to 80,000 spectators, who cheered and booed as they watched the bloody entertainment. The Colosseum is a testament to the power and glory of ancient Rome, as well as its brutality and cruelty. From Rome, we fly to Paris, where we admire the Eiffel Tower, one of the most recognizable symbols of France. The Eiffel Tower is a wrought iron lattice tower that was built in 1889 by Gustave Eiffel as the entrance to the World's Fair. The tower is 324 meters high, making it the tallest structure in Paris. The tower was initially criticized by some as an ugly and useless monument, but it soon became a popular attraction and a symbol of French culture and innovation. The tower offers spectacular views of Paris from its three levels. Next, we cross the Atlantic Ocean to New York City, where we see the Statue of Liberty one of the most famous icons of freedom and democracy in the world. The Statue of Liberty is a colossal copper statue that was given by France to America in 1886 as a gift of friendship and a celebration of independence. The statue depicts a woman holding a torch and a tablet inscribed with the date of the American Declaration of Independence. 
The statue stands on Liberty Island in New York Harbor, welcoming millions of immigrants and visitors every year. From New York City, we travel to San Francisco, where we cross the Golden Gate Bridge, one of the most impressive engineering feats of the 20th century. The Golden Gate Bridge is a suspension bridge that spans 2.7 kilometers across the Golden Gate Strait between San Francisco Bay and the Pacific Ocean. The bridge was completed in 1937 after four years of construction under challenging conditions. The bridge is famous for its distinctive orange color and its graceful design that complements its natural surroundings. Our next stop is Brazil, where we witness the Christ the Redeemer statue, one of the largest and most revered statues of Jesus Christ in the world. The statue is located on top of Corcovado Mountain in Rio de Janeiro, overlooking the city and the bay. The statue is 30 meters tall and has a wingspan of 28 meters. The statue was built between 1922 and 1931 by a French sculptor and a Brazilian engineer using reinforced concrete and soapstone. The statue is a symbol of Christianity and Brazilian culture and attracts millions of pilgrims and tourists every year. From Brazil, we fly to Peru where we explore the Machu Picchu, one of the most mysterious and fascinating archaeological sites in the world. Machu Picchu is an ancient Inca city that was built in the 15th century on a mountain ridge in the Andes. The city was abandoned by the Incas after the Spanish conquest and remained hidden from the outside world until it was rediscovered by an American explorer in 1911. Machu Picchu is a marvel of Inca architecture and engineering, with its terraces, temples, palaces, and astronomical observatories. Our next wonder is located in Mexico, where we visit the Teotihuacan, one of the largest and most impressive pre-Columbian cities in the Americas. Teotihuacan was founded around 200 BC, by an unknown civilization and reached its peak around 450 AD with a population of over 100,000 people. Teotihuacan is famous for its monumental pyramids, such as the Pyramid of the Sun and the Pyramid of the Moon, as well as its avenue of the dead, palaces, temples, and murals. From Mexico, we travel to Cambodia, where we discover the Angkor Wat, one of the most magnificent and largest religious complexes in the world. Angkor Wat is a Hindu temple that was built in the 12th century by King Suryavarman Iyaz, his state temple and capital city. The temple is dedicated to Vishnu, one of the main gods of Hinduism, and represents the cosmic order and harmony. Angkor Wat is famous for its five towers that resemble lotus buds, its galleries that depict scenes from Hindu mythology, and its intricate carvings that cover every surface. Our next destination is Jordan, where we enter the Petra, one of the most spectacular and unique cities in the world. Petra is an ancient city that was carved into the red sandstone cliffs by the Nabataeans, an Arab tribe that ruled the region from the 4th century BC to the 1 century AD. Petra was a prosperous trading center that controlled the caravan routes between Arabia, Egypt, Syria, and Rome. Petra is famous for its rock-cut architecture, such as the treasury and the monastery as well as its water management system that enabled life in the desert. From Jordan, we fly to Turkey, where we admire the Hagia Sophia, 
one of the most important and influential buildings in history. Hagia Sophia is a former church and mosque that was built in the 6th century by Emperor Justinian I as the crowning glory of his empire. Hagia Sophia is a masterpiece of Byzantine architecture with its massive dome that seems to float on light, its mosaics that depict Christian and Islamic art, and its columns that were brought from different parts of the ancient world. Our next wonder is located in Spain, where we visit the Alhambra, one of the most beautiful and enchanting palaces in the world. The Alhambra is a Moorish palace that was built in the 13th century by the Nasrid dynasty as their royal residence and fortress. The Alhambra is a stunning example of Islamic art and architecture, with its courtyards, fountains, gardens, and walls that are decorated with geometric patterns, calligraphy, and floral motifs. From Spain, we travel to China, where we see the Terracotta Army, one of the most amazing and mysterious discoveries in archaeology. The Terracotta Army is a collection of over 8,000 life-size clay soldiers horses, and chariots that were buried with Emperor Qin Shi Huang, the first emperor of China, in his mausoleum around 210 BC. The terracotta army was meant to protect the emperor in his afterlife, and it was hidden from the world until it was accidentally unearthed by farmers in 1974. The terracotta army is a remarkable display of craftsmanship and realism as each soldier has a unique face, hairstyle, and pose. Next, we fly to England, where we explore the Stonehenge, one of the most mysterious and ancient monuments in the world. Stonehenge is a circle of massive standing stones that were erected around 2500 BC by a prehistoric culture. The purpose and meaning of Stonehenge are still unknown, but some theories suggest that it was a temple, a burial site, an astronomical observatory, or a calendar. From England, we move to Russia, where we admire the St. Basil's Cathedral, one of the most colorful and distinctive buildings in the world. St. Basil's Cathedral is a Russian Orthodox church that was built in the 16th century by Ivan the Terrible as a commemoration of his victory over the Mongols. The cathedral consists of nine chapels, each with a different design and color. The cathedral is famous for its onion-shaped domes that resemble flames or flowers and its intricate patterns and ornaments that reflect the diversity of Russian culture. Our next destination is Australia, where we see the Sydney Opera House, one of the most iconic and innovative structures of the 20th century. The Sydney Opera House is a performing arts centre that was designed by Danish architect Jorn Utzon and completed in 1973. The Sydney Opera House is famous for its sail-like shells that form its roof and its location on a peninsula in Sydney Harbour. From Australia, we travel to South Africa, where we visit the Robben Island, one of the most significant and inspiring places in history. Robben Island is an island off the coast of Cape Town that was used as a prison for political prisoners during the apartheid era. The most famous prisoner was Nelson Mandela, who spent 18 years on the island before becoming the first democratically elected president of South Africa. Our next wonder is located in China, where we visit the Forbidden City, one of the largest and most majestic palaces in the world. The Forbidden City is a complex of over 900 buildings, 
that served as the imperial palace and political center of China for almost 500 years, from the Ming Dynasty to the Qing Dynasty. The Forbidden City is famous for its architecture, art, and history, as well as its name, which reflects the fact that it was off-limits to the common people. From China, we fly to Greece, where we admire the Parthenon, one of the most influential and elegant buildings in Western civilization. The Parthenon is a temple that was built in the 5th century BC by the Athenians as a tribute to their patron goddess Athena. The Parthenon is a masterpiece of classical architecture with its proportions, columns, pediments, and sculptures that embody harmony, balance, and beauty. The Parthenon is also a symbol of democracy and culture, as it was part of the Acropolis, the citadel that housed the political and religious life of Athens. Our next destination is France, where we visit the Palace of Versailles, one of the most lavish and extravagant palaces in history. The Palace of Versailles was built in the 17th century by King Louis XIV as his royal residence and seat of power. The Palace of Versailles is famous for its size, style, and splendor. With its hundreds of rooms, gardens, fountains, and artworks that reflect the glory and opulence of the French monarchy, From France, we travel to Japan, where we see the Kinkaku-ji, one of the most beautiful and serene temples in Japan. The Kinkaku-ji is a Zen Buddhist temple that was built in the 14th century by Ashikaga Yoshimitsu as his retirement villa. The Kinkaku-ji is famous for its golden pavilion that shines in the sun and reflects on the pond below. The Kinkaku-ji is also a symbol of harmony and peace, as it blends with its natural surroundings and follows the principles of Japanese aesthetics. Our next wonder is located in the United States, where we visit the Mount Rushmore, one of the most impressive and patriotic sculptures in the world. The Mount Rushmore is a monument that was carved into the granite face of a mountain in South Dakota between 1,927 and 1,941 by Gutzon Borglum and his team. The Mount Rushmore depicts the faces of four American presidents who represent the founding, expansion, preservation, and unification of the United States. George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, Abraham Lincoln, and Theodore Roosevelt. The Mount Rushmore is a national memorial and a tribute to the American ideals and values. From the United States, we fly to Egypt, where we see the Abu Simba, one of the most impressive and awe-inspiring temples in Egypt. The Abu Simbel is a complex of two rock-cut temples that were built in the 13th century BC by Pharaoh Ramesses, II as a demonstration of his power, and devotion to his wife Nefertari and the gods. The Abu Simbel is famous for its colossal statues that guard the entrance to the temples, and its alignment with the sun that causes the inner sanctuaries to be illuminated twice a year on Ramesses' birthday and coronation day. Our next destination is India, where we visit the Lotus Temple, one of the most modern and unique religious buildings in the world. The Lotus Temple is a Ba house of worship that was completed in 1986 by Farabur Sahaba as a symbol of unity and diversity. The Lotus Temple is famous for its shape that resembles a lotus flower, with 27 petals that form nine sides and nine entrances. The Lotus Temple is also a place of worship for people of all faiths and backgrounds. 
as it has no idols, scriptures, or clergy, but only a central hall for prayer and meditation. From India, we travel to Italy, where we see the Leaning Tower of Pisa, one of the most curious and amusing buildings in the world. The Leaning Tower of Pisa is a bell tower that was built in the 12th century as part of the cathedral complex in Pisa. The Leaning Tower of Pisa is famous for its tilt that is caused by the soft soil and uneven foundation. The tower leans at an angle of about 4 degrees and has been stabilized by various interventions over the years. The tower is also a popular attraction for tourists who like to pose for photos with the tower. Our next wonder is located in Brazil, where we visit the Amazon rainforest, one of the most diverse and vital ecosystems in the world. The Amazon rainforest is a tropical forest that covers over 5 million square kilometers across nine countries in South America. The Amazon rainforest is home to over 10% of the world's biodiversity, with millions of species of plants, animals, insects, and fungi. The Amazon rainforest is also a source of oxygen, water, medicine, and food for millions of people. From Brazil, we fly to China, where we see the Lishan Giant Buddha, one of the largest and most impressive statues of Buddha in the world. The Lishan Giant Buddha is a stone statue that was carved into a cliff face in Sichuan province between 713 and 803 a D by a monk named Heitong as a way to calm the turbulent waters of the river below. The Lishan Giant Buddha is 71 meters tall with ears that are 7 meters long, eyes that are 3 meters wide, and toes that are 8 meters long. Our next destination is Spain where we visit the Sagrada Familia, one of the most original and ambitious churches in the world. The Sagrada Familia is a Roman Catholic basilica that was designed by Antoni Gaudi in 1883 as his life's work. The Sagrada Familia is famous for its organic and modernist style, with its towers, spires, facades, windows, and sculptures that reflect Gaudi's vision of nature, religion, and art. The Sagrada Familia is also an unfinished masterpiece, as it is still under construction after more than a century. From Spain, we travel to China, where we see the Three Gorges Dam, one of the most massive and controversial projects in the world. The Three Gorges Dam is a hydroelectric dam that was built on the Yangtze River between 1994 and 2012 as a way to generate power, control floods, and improve navigation. The Three Gorges Dam is 181 meters high, 2.3 kilometers long, and has a reservoir that is 600 kilometers long. The Three Gorges Dam is also a source of controversy, as it has caused environmental, social, and cultural impacts, such as displacing millions of people, altering the ecosystem, and submerging historical sites. Our final wonder is located in the United Arab Emirates, where we see the Burj Khalifa, one of the most impressive and futuristic skyscrapers in the world. The Burj Khalifa is a mixed-use tower that was completed in 2010 as a symbol of Dubai's ambition and innovation. The Burj Khalifa is 828 meters high, making it the tallest building in the world. The Burj Khalifa is famous for its design, engineering, and luxury, with its observation decks 
hotels, offices, residences, and restaurants that offer unparalleled views and experiences. The Burj Khalifa is also a landmark of Dubai and a showcase of human achievement. This concludes our list of 30 of the world's greatest man-made wonders. We hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new about these amazing places. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe to our channel for more travel videos. Thank you for watching Tourista Experts, and we'll see you next time. Bye.